Mother Earth, 11th of August. A long, long time ago, outside of your chronology, Earth was, step by step, populated by creatures from the cosmos. These creatures came for a brief visit or hung around for a while. All of them brought their own traditions and habits. They also brought some plants and animals, slowly creating the diversity that your dear Earth sports today. Those beings did not remain on their own. They mixed. This brought about wonderfully creative beings, which were reflected in their looks as well. We say beings because not all of them were humanoid, and some of them took some very special shapes. The energy of Earth was not as dense at the time. Imagine all of this ethereal. They were made of matter, but less dense than you know it. You would have trouble perceiving them with your current eyes. Those beings from all across the universe came to Earth because Earth was sort of a playground where they could freely unfold and experiment. Earth registered all of the games and experiments of the time. She remembers them. Some of them were powerful games and experiments. They would feel utopian to you. We tell you about this so that you can understand that Earth has had to go through and tolerate a great many experiments and games in her past. When you, mankind, have been doing to her in the last few centuries is only a tiny wound in her history. Earth is your primal mother. She lets her children act, play, and experiment. However, she would never allow them to harm her to the point where she would no longer be able to exist. Mother Earth is working to heal all the wounds she had to suffer in her history so far and to transform them in order to be reborn as a whole in the next dimension. That process affects not only her physical, but also her ethereal body. You will all remember some places where you did not feel particularly comfortable. Those places will change their energy. You will feel the energy of Earth more and more strongly. Remember that being reserved to the sensitives, it will become accessible to the rational people as well. Those are the ones who had little or no access to their energy so far. This will promote love for and awareness of Earth and humans, leading them to take better care of Earth. As mentioned, this current period is characterized by pervasive changes. Be not afraid, but see it as a grace to be present when Mother Earth completes her dimensional change. Her process will help you ascend as well. It will support you in your own process. That process will give you an ease as well as greater knowledge and balance. The human family will move more closely together in harmony. All of you are residents of Earth. All of you will be considered representatives of Earth. The DNA of every human will have a high fifth dimensional vibration. The polarities will weaken and be balanced. You will experience the beginning of the golden era. Greater knowledge will permit te technical innovations that will support humans, always in harmony with Earth. You will access new energy sources that will no longer manipulate you. You will gain access to free energy. It is, it is every human's birthright to be allowed to use energy freely. Your forms of society and ownership will be transformed. You will experience an incredible creativity that will give humans high motivation in their work. Their activities will fulfill them. They will use their work to support Earth's evolutionary plan. Earth will cease to be a lonely inhabited island in the universe in human minds. They will establish contact with other civilizations in the universe and design the cosmic evolutionary plan together with them. The different civilizations in the universe follow the fates of Earth precisely. They look forward to soon welcoming humans in their association. This exchange will be of great benefits for humans. For example, the residents of Earth will receive new technologies. This was August 11th reading from Help for Ascension into the Fifth Dimension, Messages from Sirius A by Paulette M. Raymond.